Hi everyone, this is David from the Effective Writing Center. It's a real pleasure to be with you here in CCJS 101. What I'd like to do in this short video is to review the assignment instructions for your Forensic Sciences Discipline paper, and then to take a look at a model APA template that you can use to model your paper after. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, we've divided the instructions into five simple steps. In step one, please sign up for one of the Forensic Science Disciplines or ask that your instructor assign you one. Please don't begin work on this paper until you've confirmed with your instructor which of the Forensic Science Disciplines you will be studying. Step two means collecting research on your discipline. You'll be using this research in step three to answer these questions about your discipline. A brief look at its history, what education and certifications are required to practice it, types of evidence examined, and the types of instruments professionals in this discipline use. As you answer these questions, please keep in mind that no more than 10% of your work can be in the form of quotations. In Step 4, be sure you have a real-life case in which your forensic discipline played a role. You can acquire this case either in print format or from broadcast media. Once you have it, briefly present the essential facts of the case. Then comes your important analysis of the role your discipline played in providing leads to investigators and, ultimately, the outcome of the case. Keep in mind, the source of the case does not count as one of your two required sources. You'll be writing this paper using APA style and materials in this workshop will help you make sure that your manuscript format and citations are all done in that style. This assignment checklist is simply a tool that helps you ensure that you've collected all the parts necessary and will be addressing the assignment's essential guidelines. If you would, as part of this thread, go ahead and make a preliminary outline for the paper. Be sure to have your discipline and your case selected so that you can fill in as many details as possible of the outline. Now let's take a quick look at an APA template for this paper. Here's the title page. Notice the header at top. It consists of the words running, head, followed by a colon, a space, then a shortened version of your paper's full title in all caps, and not to exceed 50 characters including spaces. On the far right is the first page number. Remember that this header, like the rest of the paper, should be in Times New Roman font, 12-point type. Now your info block begins at the bottom of the top third of the page, or about two inches down. It consists of your paper's full title, double space, your name, double space, and the name of your school. Now on the next page begins the body of your paper. Note that the running head now consists only of the shortened title and the page number. Directly below that, on the first top line of the page, is a repetition of the full title, and then double spacing. And then comes your introduction paragraph. Now how to make this a great introduction will be covered in the next thread. Since this paper has a number of different parts, it's probably a good idea to use APA subheadings. You'll be using Level 1 headings, which are centered, bold-faced, and capitalized as you would capitalize any heading. The first section is the history of your forensic discipline. Then, the education and certification requirements to practice this discipline. The types of evidence examined by those in this field comes next. And then, the types of equipment or instrumentation they use. After that background, it's time for you to state the basic facts of the case you will analyze. Then comes the important analysis of you discussing the role that this forensic science discipline played in your chosen case. What investigatory leads were generated, and what role did this discipline play in the case's ultimate outcome? Now, in your summary paragraph, you want to bring it all together by highlighting the key findings of your research in a short paragraph. Then, beginning on a new page, type the word references at the top, center it, then put your reference citations in alphabetical order and in APA style, and we'll be giving you help on that in a later thread. 
Now keep in mind that the source of your real-life crime case does not count as one of your two required outside references. However, you still must cite the source from which you got the real crime case. Okay, good luck on your Forensic Sciences Discipline paper.